Welcome back to the Fuzzins, and I actually have some very exciting news. I am going on a trip to Japan. Konnichiwa is the right word to say today. Oh, I have one request though. Okay, you got four Fuzzins, four yes. fellow Fuzzins. You got Kamal, Justin, myself, and Ramel. Yes. How about you allow us to tell you where to go in Japan? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna have you guys pick one spot each, and I'm gonna go do those things in Japan. But with that being said, I gotta get ready for my trip and I'm bringing you guys along. All right, Jordan. So there's one place that I really want you to go to. Ooh. And before I mention that, I'm actually jealous that you're going to Japan. I've always wanted to go, but this one place, please go. I've seen this on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. But go to the best rated bar in Tokyo. Okay. Just for you, I'm gonna go to the best bar I got in Tokyo. Well, hold on, Jay. It. Hold on, Jay. First two drinks are on me. Ooh, first two drinks on Jay. Okay. So just for you, I'm gonna go to the best bar I can find in Tokyo. I'm gonna head there right now. All right, guys, I'm out here in downtown Tokyo, ready to try out the best bar in Japan. It is called Centifolia. So Centifolia is known to have the most delicious drinks, but also their award-winning bartenders are supposedly known to put on a show. So let's see if Centifolia lives up to the hype. So we're here at Bar Centifolia and this is Yuzo Komai. He is the owner and bartender and he is a five time bartending champion. And today I am gonna show you guys the three top drinks that he made. All right, so we're gonna start this off with one of his more simple drinks. This was a liquor on the rocks. But what made this special was that he skillfully hand carved the ice using a Japanese katana. I mean, check out this sword work. This guy was definitely a samurai in the past life. After using the katana to carve the ice into a diamond shape, he then uses the fan to raise the temperature of the ice to get it just perfect, otherwise the ice would shatter. Then he pours in your choice of liquor, sprinkles on some gold, and serves it to you with a nice little spin. All right, so next up is the matcha whiskey and things got hot. So Japan is known for their matcha and I love myself a matcha latte. So you know I had to get this one. But to be honest with you, that is not the reason I got this one. I got this because he actually sets the entire bar on fire. So right here, he is heating up the alcohol content. He then flings it across the bar like my boy is a firebender then pours the rest of the drink into the cup, then serves it to you through the wall of fire. How is my boy not getting burned? This guy gotta be Zuko. And the drink did not disappoint. The taste of it was just as good as the presentation. I'm a big fan of this one. Absolutely delicious. All right, so the last drink on my list was the watermelon ice slush cocktail. This one was amazing and really delicious. I mean, check this out. This drink was really cool to watch because he actually used liquid nitrogen to freeze the watermelon mixture on the spot to get it just to the perfect texture. I mean, he poured this in multiple times. He even checked this out when the liquid nitrogen was in the cup. He gave it a little sprinkle on the table. I mean, this one was just an absolute show to watch. And this drink was very beautiful and very delicious. All right, guys. So as you guys saw, Centifolia lived up to the hype. This place was insane. The drinks were crazy. They were actually really delicious on top of the showmanship. Uh, the bartender there, like I said before, has won a bunch of awards. He was doing, it was, he, was, he was doing crazy stuff with fire. He was doing crazy stuff with smoke. The guy was out of this world and he killed it today. That's all I gotta say. The guy absolutely killed it. Overall, a great experience. 
So let's see what the Fuzzins have next in store for me. All right, Jordan, I know you are excited to hit Japan. I am excited, excited for you. But you know, I'm actually sad because that means I have to leave you for two weeks. Yes, I won't see your I fat ass for the next <laughs> Hey, that's I up. will not see you. All right, where the hell, where do you want hey, me to go? Well, with me being a foodie, you're yeah, in Japan, yeah. you're in Tokyo. Uh huh. You gotta grab some sushi. Sushi! Yes! Oh, and we know how much you love sushi, I right? love sushi, right? but uh -huh. you're going, right? You're I'm taking going. someone special with you. You. Have a couple sake bombs with them. Sake <laughs> bombs with the sushi! Okay. That's it. You I will not be going. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. They don't have like California rolls over there. That's like a US thing. Oh, do you have a Sushi there? is like just the straight up fish on top of the rice. And I'm talking raw, like I'm, that's the kind of sushi. And you, you usually have like an American. Uh, mine's sushi. gotta be cooked. Mine's gotta be deep fried California rolls. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have a. I don't even know if they do sake bombs. That might just be here too. No. I feel oh, like they probably do just sake. There. I don't no. know if they have the. Listen. Wash it down with the sake. Maybe a beer. Whatever oh, you enjoy. Wow. You know, okay. whatever you enjoy. All right. Just for you. How about this? I'll promise you this one. I don't know if I'm gonna have the sake bombs, but I will have the best sushi I can find in Japan which I'll head to right now. All right guys, we just pulled up to the best revolving sushi bar in Tokyo. It's called Kura, and this place is known for their unlimited supply of sushi. It goes around on a conveyor belt. You pick it up, put it on your table, so we're gonna try a bunch of sushi for you guys. Don't think I forgot this, come on. I'm also gonna have a little sake just for you. Here at Kura, check this out. It is revolving, and whenever you want something, you push it, grab it, and you start eating. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so when you're ordering here, what you could do is, as this is revolving, you can press it and grab it, or you can order straight to you. So what I'm gonna do right now, is I'm gonna order marinated premium tuna. Right click, so let's do two of those. And then I'm gonna say, order, bang. Order was heard, thank you. And just like that, the tuna is served straight to the table. Check that out. So I'm gonna try this out on camera for you guys. This is the marinated tuna, and they're known more so for nigiri here, which is the bed of rice on top of the fish. And because we are in Japan, the quality of fish is just out of this world. So. Melt in your mouth tuna easily better than anything I've had in the United States. The quality is top tier and on top of all that, this piece of tuna prime cut marinated is one dollar. That's right, that's only one dollar and it's honestly as much as you want to eat. You can eat, you don't even have to talk to anybody. If you're like Kamal and you don't like talking to people, this is the spot. Also got something crazy, Iberian pork plate. Cheers. This might be better than, now I'm not gonna say it's better than the sushi, but it is up there, melt in your mouth. It has a beautiful glaze on top and it's a very fatty piece of pork. The perfect dish. Overall, I'm really, really enjoying Kura sushi. But let's try a couple more things. Try out this salmon for you guys here. Cheers. Wow. Japanese sushi, where sushi was originated, is on another level. Even at the revolving sushi bars, it is better than any fancy place I've ever had. And check this out, just for Kamal. So I got my draft beer, and guess what? To wash it all down, I got a little sake, baby. So, cheers. That is good. And let me go a little drop beer. So it's not really a sake bomb. I don't want to pour it all together. I'm gonna try out the Kura Sushi draft beer. Simply put, guys, I am in heaven right now. Wash it down with the beer and some sake. 
But with that being said, let's see what we have to do next. All right, Jordan, I am very happy that you're going to Japan. I wish you the best time, appreciate but I have it. one special request. You know, what is the request? So you're on vacation, right? Yes. You cannot start your diet on vacation. You have to enjoy food, right? Yeah, absolutely. And Japan is known for having delicious food. So I'm not talking about no ordinary food. When you're out there, Japan is known for one thing specifically that is extraordinary and stands out from the rest of the world, and that is Vending machine food, okay? Oh, I like it. So I want you to go out there, eat some vending machine food, and buy a couple cool things from vending machines. All right, absolutely. I am gonna go try out some crazy vending machines just for you, and I'll tell you what, I'll even bring you back a present. Oh! I want that from the vending machine. Hell yeah. All right, so Ali wanted me to try some Japanese vending machines, and we're in a very interesting spot right now. If you guys look up, we're inside the Tokyo Tower, and we got a couple of drinks right now. I'm a little tired, it's hot out here. So I'm thinking this right here, chill out. I'm not too sure what it is. It could be water, it could be something interesting. 210 yen. All right, so I got my chill out, relaxation, plus GABA. Uh, there's a 10% on here. If you guys know what chill out is, let me know. Let's see if it's really gonna chill me out. It's actually really ice cold. Cheers. Oh, it has like a Celsius type of vibe. Really delicious. Uh, okay, if I had to guess, this is maybe like an energy drink. Really ice cold, really good. It's perfect for the Tokyo hot weather right now. And like I said, we're vibing right here under Tokyo Tower. All right, so up next, we're gonna try this right here. Real gold lemon. I don't know, it looks like a lemon soda or something. Let's try it out. All right, we got some anime on the back. 50 something, it has 50 something. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so this is like a soda version of a lemonade. Very, it, it reminds me of like a Minute Maid lemonade, very carbonated. So far, the Japanese vending machines are tasting really good. But these are the, you know, your run of the mill ones. We need to get into some more interesting vending machines. All right, so I found another vending machine inside of an arcade. Check these out. I'm gonna go for the chocolate mint. All right, so we got our mint ice cream here. I've never had ice cream like this. There's a couple tabs. Let's see, let's open it with me here. So open top. Blue, I've never seen blue mint chocolate chip. So that's the top. And then it says to go around. Oh, simple enough, check that out. We got the mint chocolate chip ice cream from the vending machine. Solid. I wouldn't say it's better than ice cream we have in the US. Or worse, I would say it's, you know, about average, but it's cool that you can get this through a vending machine. So far, we got some cool things from the vending machines, but we gotta see what the other Fuzzins got in store for me next. All right, Jordan, so for the last place that I want you to visit in okay. Japan, this is on my bucket list. This is something I wanna do personally. It's nighttime go-karting. Oh, like Mario Kart style. Mario Kart style, and there's a character I want you to be. Okay, all right, what is it? This person matches your physique. Okay, I think I know where you're going with this. I want you to be Bowser. That's f***ed up. I thought you were gonna say Donkey Kong. <laughs> all right, oh, okay. What? I thought Donkey Kong, Bowser. All right, all right, my champ, I'll see you. If they have a Bowser one, I will dress up just like Bowser. So we heard all the places that I need to go to on my trip there, and uh, you know what? Let's get straight to it. The last and final thing, go-karting. All right, guys, I am on the way to the go-karting, and Romel asked me to be Bowser. So we'll see if they have a Bowser costume. If not, we're gonna have to do something else, but right now I'm waiting for the Uber, and then we're gonna be on the way to the go-kart.
Alright, so we made it to the place and we're gonna see if they have that costume or not. But current, so this is what's gonna happen right now is we're gonna go around Tokyo on a night go-kart tour. So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so we did find some costumes. Check this out. Nintendo costumes. And we got Bowser on deck. This is just for you, Romel. Just because I love you, I'm gonna dress up as Bowser. This is the official fit that I'm gonna be rolling through Tokyo in. In the Kogoro Stars. Alright, time to go ride some go-karts. So far so good. It is a little bit difficult to drive around. I'm not gonna lie. I mean you drive on the other side But so far this is the best experience I've had in Tokyo. I mean I'm driving around as Bowser uh, And we're only halfway through so we're gonna keep on rocking We are at a famous crosswalk called Shibuya Crossing. It is in the heart of Tokyo and everybody crosses at once. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> made it back in one piece that was insane we're gonna go I'm gonna take all this off and then I'll give you guys a little recap all right guys that was an epic go-kart around Tokyo experience at night I really enjoyed it but overall a great experience going around Japan for the very first time and I'm glad all the fuzzins had such great suggestions but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Make sure you hit that bell to be part of Notification Squad. Make sure you follow us on all our socials. We are the Fuzzins, and we're out. Peace. I am actually going on a trip to Japan. Oh my god, Jordan, Japan. You go, oh sorry, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you, I am gonna go to the best bar in Tokyo. We're gonna head to it right now. Wait, wait. Oh, we try to say that, and then I was gonna go to it? Yeah, that'd be oh, cool no. if you do that. Okay, hold on. All right, Jordan, so, all right. All right, Jordan, so for the last place that I want...